This is a tragedy, right? I mean, it's just horrible. People lost their lives, they lost their loved ones. One day after the deadly shooting at the Fort Lauderdale Airport, we're learning more about the victims and what may have led the gunman to kill. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Williams. My Martinez is off. Flights have resumed at the busy international airport, but the terminal where the shooting happened remains closed. The shooter killed five travelers and wounded six others at the airport. We are now learning the identities of some of those killed. Olga Waldering, a grandmother from Georgia, was getting ready for a cruise. Terry Andres of Virginia Beach was on vacation celebrating his 63rd birthday. The attack sent people running for their lives. I am just, just want to go home. Canada. We don't know where our luggage is. I'm petrified to be here. I don't want to be here in this place. Last night, the alleged gunman was taken to jail. Authorities say he appears to have traveled there from Alaska specifically to carry out the attack. Investigators interviewed more than 150 people, including the suspect, said to be cooperative. Esteban Santiago is 26 and a former National Guard soldier from Alaska. He spoke to investigators for several hours after he allegedly opened fire with a semi automatic handgun that was legally checked in his baggage. CBS News has learned that Santiago walked into an FBI office with a gun and complained about hearing voices last year. The gun was returned after he received a medical evaluation. After the shooting, both airports here in Chicago stepped up security and started monitoring the situation in Florida. CBS 2's Adrena Biggis is live at Chicago's O'Hare Airport. Adrena, what's security like there today? Jim, we are still seeing an increased police presence here at the airport, and Chicago police have increased patrols at both O'Hare and Midway to make sure travelers are coming and going safely. Outside agencies are also helping out here. You can expect to see additional officers walking in airport terminal areas as well as patrolling the outside of the airport. Passengers arriving from Florida say they're happy to see these beefed up patrols. I found it unusual as I walked through the baggage claim to get to um, the ticketing area mm -hmm. of the airport, I saw a policeman with a very large rifle going across his chest mm -hmm. on a strap. And I found that unusual because you generally don't see something like that. And um, he was just standing there just making sure everything was quiet and cool. And so it's, it is intense to see stuff like that, but it's on the other side, it's also comforting. Other passengers coming in from Sarasota and Miami told me today that they did see tighter measures, security measures at the um, going through TSA and going through their security checkpoints. And here at O'Hare, police are asking that anyone who sees anything suspicious, make sure you let someone know. Live at O'Hare, Adrena Vegas, CBS 2 News. Jim. Adrena, thank you.